Power leveling in Destiny 2 Lightfall might seem a little overwhelming, especially if you're a new or returning player, which is why in this video, I'm going to break down power leveling in Destiny 2 Lightfall or Season 20 to help you understand the different types of power, how to level up fast, whether that will be by XP or gear, and well, basically everything you need to know about power leveling overall, so that you can go from being a new player to a complete PvE god. So guys, as always, my name is Divide, and I'm going to simplify power leveling and how to level up fast in Destiny 2 Lightfall, Season of Defiance. So be sure to leave a rating, and now let's jump right into it. In Destiny 2 Lightfall, there are three different types of powers. These are known as your Season Pass ranks, the level you are for the current season, your bonus power, earned by XP as you level up, and your gear power. This is calculated by your weapons and armor. Essentially, all of these powers added up together will equal to your total power level, the big yellow number you see when hovering over your character's power. The higher this number is, the stronger your character is in simple terms. Now since Lightfall, Bungie have increased the difficulty and scaling of endgame PvE, so now regardless of how high your power level is, you're capped at a certain max power when you play specific endgame content, like a Master King's Fall Raid or a Master Nightfall for example. It used to be that you'd have a recommended power level like this 1610 Master King's Fall, and then you could be massively over that power level and things would be a lot easier. But now you're always going to be at least negative 20 under the recommended power level in Master content regardless of how high your power level is, due to sandbox changes in the difficulty implemented this season. Now this might seem a little more advanced so just be aware if I end up frying your brain, but this is sort of a power scaling chart. As you can see, the lower you are in power under an activity's recommended power level, the less damage you'll deal and the more damage you'll receive. Compared to being above the recommended power level, you'll receive less damage and deal more damage. Now this applies to all PvE activities in the game, but don't have a power cap applied to that activity. For example, a patrol zone on a planet or a regular dungeon. But some end end game activities like nightfalls, grandmaster nightfalls etc will sometimes cap you out to a maximum power level. So this GM here from season 19 caps you out at 1595 power, which means even if you go in there at 1650 power, you're still going to struggle because the activity caps you out at 1595 power in season 19. So no matter what you do, you will always be 25 under the recommended power level in a grandmaster nightfall. So just a heads up, you'll usually see a modifier or something that tells you that you can't go beyond a certain and power level in an activity because they well they don't want you to be too strong in some things i guess it's just how it is these here are the difficulty levels in lightfall season 20 so you can see that you'll always be below the recommended power level for activities that apply to those difficulties like a legend and master seasonal activity for example now just briefly before we go into detail to calculate your overall power level it works in this format add up your power level across all your gear from all eight slots then divide the added up total by the amount of slots which is eight this will be what your gear power level is, the white number that states gear when you hover over your character screen. Then you add up the bonus power that you have from the XP shown next to it. This will then equal your big yellow number, the total power level that you are. So that's the basics to power leveling, so now let's break it down further. So season pass ranks are levels you earn each season, which resets at the start of a new one, usually every 12 to 15 weeks. You can level up this rank by earning XP by completing bounties, seasonal challenges and general activities in the game. As you do that, you unlock new ranks and rewards up to level 100 on the season pass, and one season pass rank or level is 100,000 XP. You can level up further than 100, but there's no real benefit to doing so, other than getting bright engrams every 4 levels, and extra bonus power to make endgame PvE with no caps easier. Now, as you level up with XP, you will also unlock bonus power. So bonus power works similar to gear power, except you get it from XP, but this is also temporary. It resets back to zero every new season, and you can grow it infinitely with XP, but the higher the number gets, the more XP you'll need in order to get another plus one. For example, if you're like me sat at around a plus 27, then you'll need around 2.9 million XP just to get the plus one bonus power, which is around about 29 season pass ranks. The best way to grow this bonus power fast is to do bounties and seasonal challenges for XP as they give the most. I wouldn't waste time trying to achieve hundreds of bonus power though, as it's just really not needed. The amount of bonus power I recommend farming for is around a plus 21 at the most. You ideally want to grow power in tens to really feel the difference when playing. Now don't get confused with bonus power and gear power because they are completely separate, meaning that you could be a plus 100 bonus power, but this will not get you higher gear power level drops, regardless 
regardless of how high your total power level is. Your gear is calculated by your total gear power level only, not the bonus power or your total power level. Now you might think that makes bonus power useless, but actually in order to just start things like a Grandmaster Nightfall, you're required to be a minimum power level. So bonus power really helps you unlock power restricted content earlier, while helping you deal more damage in non-capped power scaled PvE content like regular dungeons and pre-season 20 nightfalls before the difficulty changes. So bonus power will help massively in some activities, but it's not as important as it used to be before Lightfall. Just a quick example, you could be a plus 500 bonus power and a 1500 gear power, making you a total of 2000 power. This doesn't mean that your next weapon is going to drop at 2000. It will actually drop at around 1502 or close to that as it drops to your gear level, even if that gear isn't on your character. The game calculates your highest gear level and drops gear based on that. Now gear power can be quite complicated, so let's simplify that next. In Destiny 2 Lightfall Season 20, all your weapons and armor have a max power level, which is 1810. So this means no weapon or armor piece right now in Season 20 will drop higher than 1810. So this is limited, unlike bonus power that can grow infinitely through XP for that given season. Gear power does not reset and will carry forward to the next season, and every major expansion like Lightfall increases power by around 200. But every standard season in between, like Season 21, we usually raise it by only 10. But Bungie have stated this season that this may change and may be removed altogether moving forward. Now in simple terms, to increase your gear power level, you need to earn gear drops by completing certain activities and earn certain rewards. You'll usually start at rare, then legendary, then powerful, and then pinnacle. Now I'll go through this in detail in a sec, but let's first understand how power actually works in Destiny 2. Now gear power might seem a little confusing, so one full gear power level is actually 8 small power. These are broken down from the 3 weapons on the left and the 5 armor on the right. So each slot has their own power level which is capped out at 1810 in season 20. So a quick example, if every slot is 1810, your total gear power level will be 1810. You know this because you add up 1810 from each of the slots, and there are 8 slots, so you times it by 8 which is 14. 1480, but because there are 8 slots, you then divide it by 8, which obviously equals 1810. And then that is your gear power level. To make this sound probably more confusing, if two slots are 1810 and the rest are 0, then you add them up, which is 3620, and then divide it by how many slots there are, which again is 8, and then your gear power level will be 452.5. Add a plus 20 bonus power from XP, your gear power will be 452.5, but with a plus 20 bonus power, making you a total of 472. 2.5 total power, but gear drops will still drop at your gear level, which will be around 452, not 472. Remember that bonus power doesn't affect gear drops. On top of this, you don't need to have your highest gear equipped in order to get higher drops. You could play at 1600 power, but have a full set of gear unequipped or put in your vault at 1810, and your next pinnacle or powerful reward will still drop at 1810, even though you're currently 1600. As long as you have your highest gear somewhere which is equipable for that given character, the game will figure that out and still drop you the right gear. Just don't dismantle your only weapon at max power for example, or you're going to have problems. Now there are 4 stages of power levels in Destiny 2, and each stage will determine what level your gear will drop at. So you might wonder why you can't get higher than 1750 when the max power is 1810. It's because you've probably hit that stage cap, and you now need to unlock rewards from a higher tier to progress further. So in Season 20, these stages are known as the Floor Power, the Soft Cap, the Powerful Cap, and the Pinnacle Cap, also known as Max Power. Now these power stages determine the max level your gear can drop at when you earn a reward as part of that tier or stage. For example, if you want to get to 1800 but you're currently 1750, you need to earn powerful rewards. If you want to get to 1810, you need to get Pinnacle Gear. As you level up gear, the previous stage of rewards like Powerful Gear will scale with your level but will never be higher than your gear power level. So if you're 1805 halfway through the Pinnacle Cap, a powerful Ingram will drop at 1805 instead of 1800, but a pinnacle reward will still drop at say 1807, and then a legendary reward will drop at around 1880. It's pretty straightforward, but it may sound confusing, but at each power stage, you just need to unlock rewards for that stage. So if you're 1802, you want to focus on getting pinnacle gear only, and then use powerful gear for min-maxing, which I'll explain later in the video. So starting with stage 1, the floor power. Floor power in Destiny 2 is the minimum power and the starting power that everyone will be at when they start the game for the first time or return to the game during a new expansion release like Lightfall. This floor power changes every 4 seasons, so right now it's not confirmed what it is as of making this video, but it's assumed that it will be 1590 or 1600. My guess is 1600, so congratulate me if I'm right down in the comments, but this should be the power that everyone should be when you log in for the first time on February 28th, regardless if you're a new player or a regular player. So if you 
want to get to the soft cap of 1750, you need to earn rare or legendary gear found by doing things like strikes, the story campaign or anything that just drops in the game will usually be an upgrade, but the fastest way to the soft cap is to complete the legendary campaign, but for Lightfall. The next stage is the powerful cap which is 1750 to 1800, and to get to that you need to earn powerful rewards. These are found in places highlighted around the map when you reach close to starting the powerful grind. These are things like the tower challenges or seasonal activities, but these are also limited so you can only do them once per week per character. They'll reset or change at the weekly reset which is on Tuesday so you can go do them again. You can also get prime engrams which are also random engram drops when playing which act as a powerful reward, just make sure you decode them at the crypt arc in the tower as soon as you get one, as they don't scale like vendor packages do. Now the last power stage in Destiny 2 is the pinnacle cap, this is capped out at 1810 and the only way to go from 1800 to 1810 in season 20 is to do pinnacle rewards. These are found in end game content like nightfalls, raids, dungeons, events, iron banner and all the things that might seem quite difficult. Pinnacle rewards give you a plus 2 higher power level than your total gear level, but some like strikes, crucible and gambit will only give you a plus 1. So 1810 is the max gear power and then using XP you can go higher with bonus power. The above average player by the end of season 20 should be 1810 gear power with around a 15 to 25 bonus power. Now how do you level up fast in Destiny 2 Season 20? For XP used for seasonal ranks and bonus power, you're best doing seasonal challenges, weekly challenges and bounties each week. I'd recommend doing gunsmith bounties on the Cosmodrome with Cosmodrome bounties. They're probably the fastest and easiest ones to do, but I'd also do the weekly bounties each week as well. If you want to get to max power fast, first get to 1750 by doing basically anything in the game, usually the legendary campaign is best, then farm powerfuls to 1800 and then pinnacles to 1810. Then repeat the same thing but on your second and third characters, and then repeat the same thing at the next weekly reset. Set, but start backwards from the character that has the highest power level. Always start with your highest because higher level weapons can drop which can be used to benefit other characters whereas armor can't. Now earlier I mentioned min maxing, this is a neat trick used to grind a pinnacle cap faster. It's used between 1800 and 1810 when you have one or a few slots holding you back in power but that slot missing one or two power is below your current total gear level and achieving just that one power would then make you go up a whole power level. This is called min maxing because you can use a powerful reward to boost your power level during the pinnacle cap instead of a pinnacle reward. This does sound quite complicated so here's an example I made from season 16 last year that follows the exact same technique and still works. If your gear power is 1555, with most gear being around 1556 or 1557, but you have that one piece of gear holding you back at say 1553 or 1554, then doing a powerful reward will give you an item at your power level, which would be 1555. Now if this power drop happens to fall into the slot where you have gear below your power level, then this could bump you up a full power level, making you become 1556 so that then your next pinnacle drop will drop at 1558 instead of 1557. This method is known as min maxing as a powerful reward can be used to boost your power level at the pinnacle cap. There are useful tools which I'll link below if you want to use them so that you have a computer doing the math for you that will tell you what you need to get to go to the next power level. Now there are also online tools like a power calculator or destiny item manager which I'll link below. It's where you can easily find out how much power you need to go to the next level so you can decide if min-max and gear is worth it for your case or not. But usually only the regulars bother doing it for day one raid, but it's not as important as it used to be back in the day due to many changes. So don't stress about it if you don't or can't do it. Now guys, that is everything you need to know about power leveling in Destiny 2 Lightfall Season 20 or Season of Defiance. Be sure to check out my other videos for more guys like this, and if you like this one, maybe leave a rating, smash that subscribe, and also don't forget to share this to your friends that may need a little guidance, because this video did take quite some time to make. And guys, as always, if you do need any further help, just be sure to reach out to me in my Discord server and I'll see what I can do. But for now guys, I'll see you all in the next video.